Dovian, Iwan Kutelaba, who is still just 24. Kutelaba, the taller man by two inches. He will have a four and a half inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Scotiabank Saddle Dome in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, for Fox UFC Fight Night, Alvarez versus Poirier 2. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a combat sambo fighter. Holding a professional record, 13 wins, 3 losses, 1 no contest. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Kizanel Republic of Moldova, he won the Hulk Kutenlava. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A big martial artist holding a professional record. 20 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Makhachkala, Russia, Gajimurad Antigola. And where the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard, our referee. Brittany Palmer getting us started for round one. Little intensity there. Now, if you saw the weigh-in or if you've seen any Iwan Kutelaba weigh-in, you know he is all about it. Getting in the face of his opponents, and Gadzimorad Antigulov was ready. And I do stand corrected. One of the divisions in which the fighters are chasing <laughs> I Daniel told you. Cormier. I told you that. Let's go, John. Who, as of three weeks ago, if you don't know, is also the UFC heavyweight champion of the world. But we are underway here at 205. Gadzimorad Antigulov in white. Iwan Kutelab is in black, and he's put on his back immediately. Nice double leg shot. Great timing by Antigula. Nice job timing that takedown, knowing that Kutelab was going to be aggressive going into him. Great takedown, Tim. Great finish. Now he's got to try to secure Kutelab. Kutelab did a really good job of finding the fence, and look at him using the fence to get back to his feet. Great job by Iwan Kutelab. Antigulov makes it look easy, takes Kutelaba down again. Longest UFC fight coming in for Antigulov, two minutes and 21 seconds. That was last May in Dallas, a victory over Joachim Christensen. And he submitted Christensen very fast. Christensen's a black belt jiu-jitsu player, so it's not an easy thing to do. He dominated him from start to finish, got in and out of there very quickly. And this is where Antigulov is just so masterful with his strength and his control and landing a couple strikes here for good measure. And this is how you neutralize the power game of Iwan Kutelaba, force him to work off his back. And you see that if you can go along with Kutelaba, you, he will slow down a little bit and the power starts to fade. We saw it when he fought Kananir, right? He fought Jared Kananir, started off just crazy. Both of the guys taking to each other and as it went longer, he started to fade a little bit. So by grinding on him, taking him down, making the muscles kind of blow up a little bit, you know, make the arms blow up, make him strain, it will slow down all that power that Kutelaba is known for. And before Kutelaba can get any separation into Gulab, right back on. Two minutes gone by here, round one. See, Antigulov right here, he's okay with this. As, as Kutilaba reaches back over into a wizard position here, he's fine. He's just going to lift and try to take him back. You need to try to find a way to dig an underhook back inside if you're Iwan Kutilaba. He's controlling both sides of your body. You've got to find an underhook if you're going to escape this position. Now, we know Kutilaba for his striking prowess as he lands the knee to the body there, and then another one, but he did start. Oh! Oh! He did start with 12 years of Greco-Roman wrestling, was a European champion in combat samba, so he's got some ground shots for sure. These guys are going at it, look. Oh, elbow lands for Kutelaba, now oh, another knee. Hey, Antigulov's hurting Kutelaba when he hits him. Someone's bleeding, it's Antigulov. Antigulov actually landed with a lot of power, but he's so intent on wrestling that he's not noticing it. Kute Lava needs to move the head back inside. Make him wrestle you on a single, not a high crotch. 
I always feel like they can hear us when they're right there. When they're right there, they can. I do. I feel like when you guys can hear you talking, teaching them how to fight and wrestle, we don't want to show them too much. Well, although they might not understand. Oh, nice knee. They might be okay. The Kutelaba's landing some big knees. Antigula starting to get tired. All that rust is starting to tire him out. Oh! Big knee by Kutelaba. And Antigulov walks right through it. Another knee to the body for Kutelaba. And a takedown for Antigulov. And that is useful. He's on that high crotch and he keeps running the pipe. Kutelaba starting to gas, get, him to get tired himself a little bit. Oh, nice sweep by Kutelaba. Right back on the high crotch, Antigulov. If Kutelaba can defend and get through this round, Ante Gulov doing so much wrestling is going to tire him out. You can see it already. It would serve Iwan Kutelaba's good right now to go to the body some. Don't hit him. Go to the body. Knees to the body, elbows upstairs, big uppercuts oh, from Kutelaba. Oh, he's going to close this fight out. Mark Goddard monitoring the action closely here. Oh, oh and now Ante Gulov fires back. Oh, he's hitting too many of these knees. He's not even fighting this tie clinch. He's exhausted. Antigulov's exhausted. Yeah, his body language is going to get him out of this fight here if he's not careful. Oh! oh boy. That'll do it! The Hulk is back! Iwan Kutelaba pulls off Kazimor on Antigulov. Great job by Kutelaba. Withstanding the initial rush and then just going to work. Once he was able to get back to his feet, this dude went to work and got the first round finished. Great job. Unbelievable that Antigulov put so much into wrestling and could not carry that high a pace for that long. Our move of the flight is sponsored by Metro PCS. Get knockout coverage of the UFC on a network that covers 99% of people in the U.S. Right here. Boom. Right hand by Kutelaba. Big knee coming. He's knee in the body. Elbow. Right there, he's going to finish here. And you see Antigulov now starting to check out. That uppercut kind of buckled the knees a little bit. Referee could have stopped the fight here, but he gave him every chance. He threw the uppercut, but Iwan Kutelaba is in a much better physical state here. Lands his elbow over the top, and Antigulov right now is just waiting for the official to jump in and save him right. from Iwan Kutelaba. Well, Mark Goddard gave him every benefit of every doubt, but Iwan Kutelaba gets it done. We will talk to him next. Off and running here on Fox tonight. Trip to Calgary. All right, the official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by GKO, Iwan the Hulk. The Hulk is back, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner, Iwan Kutelaba. Congrats on a huge win here tonight. Good to see you back in the octagon, man. Hey, guys. Uh, thank you very much for support. I'm very, very happy. It's a very, very nice fight. Брат Антигулов, спасибо, брат, за бой. Я уважаю тебя. И уважал всегда. Хочу сказать, Даниэль Корме, что... Just pull on Cormier, sure. Hey, Cormier. You want to visit here, Stevich? I see you're here. Pass through the center, you win the fight. Keep the belt. I will come after you. Should I talk? Should I talk? Should I talk to Vrey? Oh, 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 and if you had a picture with me or you wanted my autograph, I'll be outside. All right, so if DC wants your autograph, he knows where to find you. My wife, I love you. It's fight. It's fight for you. It's fight for the Republic of Moldova. Moldova up! Ah! The best there is, the best there was, the best there will ever be. Congrats on a big one tonight, my friend. Soon, as a few, Chelmai Bunia podcast. It's gonna be the best ever.
All right, congrats, big win tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, he is Iwan Kutelaba.